What's up YouTube, you checking out the Frequent Flyer and this is my quick review of the 5.8 GHz standalone FPV system. And this is the box here. Let's look at the back of the box because it's a lot of useful information and specs on the back of the box. So as you can see, uh, we have eight channels of frequencies to switch between and they're obtained by uh, hitting these uh, dip switches up and down uh, on the back of the transmitter. There's one. So you can see there, and also on the bottom of the the uh, RX camera, you can actually see it there. So you can uh, you just have to set both of them to the same frequency, five thousand eight hundred sixty-five megahertz. We have five thousand eight hundred and forty-five megahertz. We have five thousand eight hundred and twenty-five megahertz. You have this one here. 5,745 megahertz, 5,725 megahertz, 5,805 megahertz, 5,785 megahertz, 5,765 megahertz, all obtained by uh, the combination that you have on these dip switches, uh, 1, 2, and 3 being up or down on it. And so there is a flat style antenna here, directional actually, so you actually supposed to be pointing that towards the the uh, multi-rotor in order to um, get the optimal reception from it and the camera let's look at the camera you can see the lens here is adjustable you can adjust it move it up and down uh, I mainly you mainly gonna want to fly with it aimed up because when you pitch forward and you're flying forward you want to be able to see what's in front of you well that's what I found the most useful the best way to fly FPV and it, does have this little antenna on the bottom. I have banged it and scraped it up. This thing is pretty durable. I've crashed plenty of times with this on the bottom of the aircraft and had it fly off. Had <laughs> I even had to, I actually had to, to replace one of these wires popped loose from here, from it coming loose and then being yanked from the aircraft. Uh, but for the most part, this thing still works pretty fine. Uh, only thing I can say is that it doesn't connect, it doesn't link right up to the uh, the monitor right off. Sometimes I have to tap it, but it's been like that since day one, since I first received it. And this is a 4.3 inch screen diagonally, and uh, it's pretty decent. It's all you really need to be able to see on here. Let's see if it'll connect right away here. As you can see, it didn't connect right away. Usually I have to tap it and then it'll start working. I don't know why that is, but that's just what you have to do. As you can see, there's just about no lag on this thing at all. As you can see, so the video is instant. It is in color. It is a color screen, as you can see there. Uh, pretty awesome. There's a standalone battery in here. You have to, It comes with a charger, actually, uh, that has... Uh, two wires with both connecting both connections on it so you can charge actually both of these at the same time this the antenna does screw off so you can replace it with a different type of antenna and uh, it works pretty great the only gripes I have with it is that it comes with these little plates on the bottom that you can uh, use on the bottom of your aircraft if your aircraft isn't compatible with this uh, this style here this is, I think this is the WL toy style with just the two latches that you hook on because this hooks on to uh, most of the WL toys products uh, exactly uh, with the, like it was built for that. But um, the Simon one, you have to use this. It comes with this ad adapter here. Uh, you just hook this up onto the Sima, put the screws on the bottom and the latch on there, and then the camera hooks on. It turns it into a WL sto toy style, a WL toy style connection there on the bottom. And this one, I don't know what this will hook up to. It looks like it slides onto something, and then you can hook it up. It turns, converts it into the WL toy style connection there, and uh, it works pretty well once you uh, can. If your multi-rotor can uh, mount up to these two brackets or or this one, other than that, you're going to have to figure out some kind of mod to be able to get this thing attached to the bottom of your multi-rotor. And it's a little heavy, uh, 
I think being that it has its own battery, it's standalone, so it's a little heavy. Like quads like the XK X250, I found this to be too heavy. It took almost like 75% of throttle to even lift off with it. So I wouldn't recommend it for that in particular. My testing on that wasn't good with it. And also this monitor, you, you're going to have problems mounting this monitor to many uh, transmitters as it comes with this connection here. And so uh, this just uh, links up with this here. Oh, why am I having a bad time with it? <laughs> Let's see how. Oh, I think I might have it upside down. Yeah, I had it upside down because it goes backwards like that. And so, and then you put these little screws in. You screw those in to tighten it up. And it does, in fact, work with, if you have a WL Toys or JJRC a multi rotor that has the monitor onto it, an FPV system, this style bracket does work as well. It fits right in the grooves exactly the same. So you can go back and forth between this connection and that one. This hookup here on the back of the transmitters, if you have this one available. Um, so it and it does pick up. I don't remember exactly what frequency it is, but this can pick up those frequencies from like the uh, JJRC uh, 668, I think it is. Not the 668, it's the um, uh, 686G or something like that. <laughs> I'm not familiar with the name of it, but if you have uh, that or either the WL Toys Q282 with its monitor, it does hook up to this. If you have the right frequency, you can pick up the FPV from, from this thing here and uh, vice versa. You can use this um, to pick up the transmission from the from those. Uh, pretty decent FPV system, I say. The range is advertised over 300 meters. Um, it gets a little scratchy when I'm flying it, but I just found out that this thing is a directional and that you have to be pointing this towards it. And most of the times, I'm not doing that. I'm just uh, aimed one direction and it's flying back and forth. And I'm just aiming straight ahead. So maybe that's why I was getting a little bit of noise uh, when I get far away a little but um, I was told that if you aim this uh, antenna here towards it, then uh, it will be okay and it would be less noise and better reception and better range. So, but I, I have yet to try that, uh, but I plan to. And uh, yeah, for the most part, this is an awesome FPV system. It does record the memory card, goes in the side here, and you can plug this in. The, it's only a three prong protect. A three prong connector so a lot of the quads that I have have the four prong connector so you can only connect to this if it has the three prong connector and then not all of them work all the time like the JJRC H8C for instance it just freezes the frame of the video and freezes it all up when I plug this in so I can't fly with that plugged in you can fly you can still fly with that not plugged in but you just won't be able to record anything or start or stop the recording so um, only some of them work oh yeah and the card I, I don't think it supports anything over 16 gigabytes because I put a 32 gigabyte card in here and it says memory full so it and I put a 128 gigabyte card in there it said memory full as well and uh, if you remove the card and you try to fly it without the card, you're going to have a card error screen going across the bottom, the middle of the screen, actually. But it doesn't get in the way too much. You still can fly FPV, but just something that's a uh, note that you're going to have that in red across the middle of your screen. There's a card error until you insert another SD card. So uh, that's it. The standalone 5.8 gigahertz FPV system with real-time transmission. Thanks for watching.